sun is literally so bright today i feel like i can't see anything but my skin looks great in the viewfinder that i can't really see so hello lovely people so today i have a zara haul uh i was in two minds about doing this because i know zara aren't people's favorite retailer at the moment i know they're being a bit dicky i did this zara haul i actually mentioned in my last video or the video before my last video it's a long time ago that I'd done this Zara haul. It took so long to arrive and it's looking like I'm not going to be able to send it back. Um, so I'm just kind of making videos with the resources that I have right now and this is one of them. And I could not make this video, I know, but I would like to be able to pay my staff. So here we are. I will be linking alternatives and dupes in the info box if you would like to purchase something similar, but that is not Zara. And I would also like to use the phenomenal amount of views that these videos normally get to tell everyone and to remind everyone to stay home. Please stay home and please stay safe. And finally, I also just want to provide some of you who come here for the hauls and the trivial things that are very, very tertiary right now. I wanted to still upload this so that you have some form of normal content where you just switch off. Let's just have 20 minutes where we do something normal and silly and not important. So the whole reason I placed this Zara order was because at the beginning of the month, I saw Melissa from Mel's wardrobe, or is it Melissa's wardrobe? I can't remember the Instagram handle, but you know, I love her. She has this body and she loves it. And it's been in and out of stock for ages. And I saw that it was back in stock. So I ordered it immediately. I'd actually gone to order it a couple of weeks before when it was back in stock and it flew out of stock because I wasn't quick enough. I literally opened the tab, I went to order it, I went and made myself a cup of tea, and it was out of stock by the time I came back. Yeah, this is item number one. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I feel like my mum's best friend's probably gonna comment on this video and be like, just looks like your top's missing something, hun. But I quite like it. I was a bit undecided at first, but I like it. It's a little bit different. Um, I'm wearing it with trackies today around the house, but it could dress up really nicely for a night out. So yeah, I'll show you what that looks like in full now. So sod's law, I actually forgot to do a cutaway for this one. I have no makeup on, so I'm currently not gonna show you <laughs> my actual face. But yeah, this is what it looks like with black trousers on, and then you can see it later on in the video uh, with a pair of blue jeans as well. Uh, so keep on watching. Also, I really like my makeup today. If anyone wants to see a tutorial on this, let me know because I can try and recreate it. I feel like this is gonna be like that one time that you get your makeup like bang on and you're never able to like redo it ever 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 again but i can still try so let me know if you'd like to see a tutorial on this look i really like it okay this item this is probably one of my favorites from the haul they have this in a few different uh styles and i purchased a couple of styles um because i just love the puffy sleeves at the moment i really really love them so it's long sleeved and this is why i really liked it because i have a couple of puff sleeve things you will know from last summer i really really love that trend but this one has long sleeves and i love that i also love the color of it it's like this um kind of like muted rose blush color it's absolutely stunning i think it will work really nicely with my hair color and my skin tone but i think this would look gorgeous to be honest on any skin tone it's got little flares at the bottom of the sleeves it's tight um like a um what do you call it not like a jersey like a really stretchy material um in the center and this is what i was talking about if you watched uh my last video where i was doing a try on uh, was the fact that the bodies on these are so stretchy and so great so um hopefully you'll be able to see that in the cutaways and fingers crossed they are as great as i was talking about in my last video but yeah i'm really really excited about this one i've got a size small uh for those of you who are wondering i'll try and remember what sizes i got everything in um, and try and remember to say it as i'm going along uh, but i got a size small and it was 25.99 so this is the blush top i really love the sleeves on this they're so cute just so cute i've paired it with my zara trousers and then my june uh mule sandal thingies i love this it's just the prettiest colour um, and one that still, even though it is a colour, works really, really well in a very neutral wardrobe. Uh, yeah, so I love it. So cute. I don't really have much else to say. Um, apart from fit, it's fine. Got a small, love it no issues um i would wear a strapless bra with this normally for those of you i know you all like to know kind of what i wear underneath normally i would just go for any kind of strapless bra underneath the material of this is quite thick so i don't think you'll have any issues with seeing um the color come through but if in doubt a nude strapless bra is obviously always preferential sleeve length is a little bit long but it's cute and i like it and then and then this is what the back is like. I really love the low back of it. I'm not doing it justice because I'm slouching, but that's what it looks like. Next, we have another puffy sleeve top. 
This one's denim. I really love this. I love a bit of denim. You guys know. I just, I think it works really well with my skin tone, hair color. And I just think denim works really well into everyone's wardrobe. Like we all have denim. And for me, I'm a very neutral color palette in terms of my wardrobe. I like white, nudes, all different spectrums of nudes, greys, uh, black. And then my main form of color really is denim apart from that. So that this is kind of most colorful we're really gonna get in my wardrobe to be honest. But yeah, I thought this would be gorgeous potentially with some leather trousers. I'm gonna see, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, but I just loved it. Just really loved it. And I really wanted to get it, try it on and see how it would work in my wardrobe. When I first ordered, this denim top. I really thought it would be an absolute staple in my wardrobe and it would be so easy to style, but actually, practically, it's a little bit trickier. So I've paired it with my very old Topshop cigarette trousers. I've had these for, I think maybe five years now. I love them. Um, they've been an absolute staple in my wardrobe. I've also paired them with Topshop pointed um, sock boots, but they're like leather sock boots, so they're not as like um, thin and they're not as tight, but they still have the same look. I love them. I love them so much. But anyway, so I've paired it with these because number one, I went for these boots because I'm trying to still be like spring appropriate and not jump too quickly to like warmer weather with all sandals. Like some of these items are obviously going to be more geared towards summer for me. So I will style them in the cutaways with summer items because that's the way they are intended. But this is more of a spring top. And then I was like, oh, I actually don't know what this would work with in terms of spring outfits and leather trousers was just too much um, especially because this isn't a very simple top like it's quite out there so leather just felt too much denim felt too weird like it just wouldn't really wouldn't work so i settled on my top shop cigarette trousers um, because i needed something high waisted as well because this is a very thick material and it ends around here and isn't fitted so it will just go like this um which isn't the most flattering so that is where i ended up i needed something high-waisted that would was strong and would literally like cinch this in and wouldn't show like the material underneath too much because this is so thick so i didn't want like i don't know a kind of thinner item than this that then showed like too much bump and stuff like that so yeah that's that's where i ended up i really wish that there was a more springy outfit that i could pair it with but honestly i just struggled so much i did want to do my leopard print uh wrap skirt that i have from zara but it's so thin obviously and like i was saying i wanted something that wasn't too thin it was so thin it would just show a lot of bumps if you do have like a kind of skirt that is like a thicker material that could pair with this then i would say go ahead but um i do think this is definitely a harder item to style in terms of sizing that fits fine this is what the back looks like it's very low back so i do feel like wearing a bra is just going to be a bit tricky with this one as well um which i think will be a deal breaker for most people if i'm honest um but i think if you work in like a smart casual office and this is your kind of outfit then why am i not in focus there we go uh, then you'll really like it. It is also, it does feel slightly weird because it really, because it's backless, it really just like sits on this part of your shoulder, but it does feel like it could just like fall off at any point. It's a little bit weird. But yeah, that is how I chose to style it. Let me know what you think in the comments and how you would style it. I'd be really interested to know um, if this is something that you like and what you would pair it with. I love that I just said that about colour and I totally forgot about this. But I just love this top. I love the cut of it. So I don't know if you can tell. Sorry, my phone is buzzing. Even busier than it is normally. Um, but yeah, I love like the off shoulderness of this. And it crosses over and it goes tight around the waist. It's obviously a little bit cropped. And then it has these like balloon sleeves. I just thought it was really sweet. And a really lovely summer piece, that, which hopefully I'll get to wear. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. It worked beautifully with denim shorts or like tailored black trousers. I feel like that could work quite nicely as well leather trousers potentially but i think it's a bit too i don't know a bit too soft to mix with leather trousers i think it looks that like the two very different ends of the scale and it doesn't work but maybe that's just because of the color i think but yeah i think this would be a gorgeous summer piece i'm excited to try that on it's really really pretty i actually really like this top i like it more than i thought i was going to um i've paired it with my chloe sandals and top shop premium mom jeans which are really starting to um like get a lot baggier now when i first got them they were so so tight and everyone was like those those are not mom jeans but they're definitely behaving uh more like a mom jean now and they're actually like perfect mom jean fit i think um and i think they work really really nicely with summery tops they're that perfect blue 
really really gorgeous fit i don't know why i just prefer them to like most skinny jeans apart from the top shop four jeans but uh yeah anyway this video is about zara i love this it's really really cute uh, i actually thought this cut could be a bit weird because it comes quite high up and i wasn't sure if that would be particularly flattering but i actually think it's more flattering than having like a very low cut off the shoulder top really really nice you still get a little bit of like collarbone and shoulder but you're not like completely exposed it's really really sweet and i love the sleeves i love how they look so cute yeah that's what it looks like from the back i really like it and if you want to have it like longer so that you don't have any of your tummy showing you can also just pull it down a little bit um it's quite easy to work with next we have this knit that has puffy sleeves so cute so so cute so these are like shirt sleeves and then they actually have like the cuff is knitted just like the body i think it's a really interesting piece and i just love white at the moment white and long sleeved for spring it's just such a vibe i got it in a size small and it was 25.99 i really like this top i feel like the sleeves on it are very extreme um but i think for like work events and stuff like that i could definitely get away with this and um, they are just like obviously huge um and i think because i have shorter arms as well they're like it's made worse uh, especially where the cuff starts um but i still think it's so cute i really like the high neck of it although it did make it very very difficult to get on and i'm pretty sure i lost half of my forehead makeup to it but nonetheless it's really really cute and this material is nice and thick as well so i don't think like you'd be able to see your bra through it underneath um that's what the back looks like it fits really really well um i'd say it's not as fitted as the other puff sleeve tops in this video um so the blush one definitely fits more snug than this so this one's like a little bit roomier so if you are smaller and things tend to come up a, a bit oversized on you i would say to size down in this one but yeah it works really nicely with my zara trousers and jean sandals it's really cute like if you worked in an office that wasn't like super 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 corporate um but just like a smart cash office this would be a really really nice one oh and i forgot to say with the gingham and denim top they were also a size small next we have a top that's going to be very difficult to show you so i'm probably gonna very quickly skim to a cutaway of this on but it's basically a crop top god it's so hard to show but it's got an elasticated back i think i've got it in a size medium yeah size medium 1799 um and i thought this would work really nicely with um black tailored trousers uh for like work events it'd be a nice like you know when you want to like wear a tailored trouser like during the spring and summer but you don't want to be like super super hot um this is like a almost like a shirt material a really thick shirt material crop top so it's very smart um but i thought it would also work really really nicely with denim for when i am not like at fancy work events so yeah just thought it was quite versatile so we'll see what it looks like on so this is the white crop what do you call this a bralette crop top I'm not entirely sure um i really like this one i got it in the size medium i think i said in the main bit of this video i do think it would be quite cool if you sized up a size and it was just slightly like looser i feel like that could be a real vibe as well and then you could layer it over other things so think about that if you're not if this is like a lot for you um because it is quite a like barely there top um but i think it would look quite cool if you sized up and then could put like shirts underneath it and things like that as a little top uh during the summer or something for um evenings out underneath a blazer i think this is actually a really cute one and i've just paired it with my top shop premium mom jeans and chloe sandals um but yeah it's cute it fits perfectly but i would say it definitely runs small because everything else in this haul is a size small and this is a medium so i would definitely say to uh if you're between sizes to pick the size up it also has the longest hanger straps in the world uh i will be cutting these off if i keep this speaking of denim i also picked up some 80s these are called 80s jeans i don't really know what that means but i thought they looked really cute and i really love the denim wash on them and they just look like they're gonna have a really gorgeous fit so excited to try these on uh i hope they fit i got them in a size 38 which is i think it's a uk 10 i believe that's a uk 10 so yeah we'll see how this goes i normally find that um zara jeans fit me quite well i know lots of other people have difficulty with the sizing of them but i've always found them to be like fairly okay so we will see how this goes but looking at them i am slightly concerned because I just think my bum is bigger than that. <laughs> I just have a feeling. Um, so we'll see how we get on with these. But yeah, I think in terms of the length, they'll definitely need rolling up, even if uh, they do 
that over my bum. Okay, so these are the jeans. They are very, very, very high-waisted, which I think is why they're called the 80s jeans. Um, they are okay on the length. I don't love them. Um, yeah, I don't love them. I think they could look cute rolled up, but let me show you. They're just not the most flattering. I think I prefer the fit of my Topshop 4 jeans. Those of you who've seen them in my vlogs will know that I absolutely love them and they're very, very flattering. Whereas these, I just don't think are the best. There are some skinny jeans which really make you look short if you are shorter and these are definitely that but it could be because of the color of them uh, especially because i'm wearing them with uh, a black body as well i'm just not 100 percent sure um so yeah if i can return these then i might but if not they're still a really nice pair of jeans i might fall in love with them and if not i can turn them into shorts and then finally we have the pink top that i showed you earlier but in black on the body with cream sleeves. This is stunning. I have been so excited for this to arrive. I can't tell you, I've literally been thinking about it um, since I placed the order. It's stunning, it's absolutely stunning. I just think it's so pretty, I can't stop looking at it. I really like that it's not all one color. I just think it's so, so different to anything I've seen anywhere else. Um, and I just love these sleeves. I think they're so delicate and so beautiful. They really are gorgeous. So yeah, I'm excited to try that on. This is the other uh, puff sleeve uh, fitted top which I just love oh it's so cute I feel so pretty in this um, I love the fact that the body of this is black it's very like streamlining but then the sleeves look even like puffier because they're obviously like much lighter in tone so it's really doing like the most for your figure I feel like I think it's very streamlining and again I've just tucked it into my leather trousers and my June sandals because I just think that these trousers work and I think maybe my leather skinny trousers work the best um with these fitted puff sleeve tops it's kind of like that smarter vibe you can wear them obviously with um mom jeans as well but I just think having less different colors going on is better and um, you could obviously pair blue mom jeans with this and heels or sandals any shoes really but then you've got like black white blue and then whatever color your shoes are and it's like that's a lot of different blocks of color whereas i wanted to keep um these outfits more one tone as much as possible um so even with the blush colored top uh, i thought it was best just to pair it with black and black i think it keeps things looking less busy which in turn i always just think makes outfits look more expensive if you've just got like less going on less is definitely more um so yeah that is kind of my reasoning for doing that because i know a lot of people are like i'm so bored of leather trousers i don't like wearing leather trousers please pair everything with jeans um but i've tried to mix up a little bit in this video and wear jeans where possible but i think in some cases maybe a black jean a black jean would definitely work better. It would still be in keeping with that like one or more minimal tones in your outfit. Uh, but yeah, I really love this one. Very, very, very cute. That's just like a really nice collection of like spring summer pieces which hopefully i will get to wear at some point soon so yeah that is going to be it for my zara haul today for those of you who would rather see videos that aren't uh shopping related i've uploaded a skincare routine i uploaded a get ready with me i've got a home haul coming because i had a few new home deliveries arrive um so i've unboxed those in a video that's coming up and what else do i have i'll link all of my recent videos from march in the info box below for you guys to go and watch because i'm sure there is something out there for you i've uploaded a lot this month we did three uploads last week and um, to kind of keep you busy and hopefully we'll be doing that again this week this should be the second upload of the week so yeah hopefully there's a little something to keep all of you busy for a little bit that's it for me i'm gonna go and make myself a cup of tea because i was just really nervous about uploading today um so i'm just gonna go and chill for a bit and then maybe film some more videos so if you guys have any requests on videos that you would like to see please pop them in the comments below and i'll get on those for you i hope you're all having a good day i hope you're staying home stay safe be kind and i'll see you guys again in my next video bye